Hello, St. Michael's parishioners and friends. Welcome as we offer another sanctuary or fireside chat this week. As we begin this wonderful season of Advent, um, a time of waiting and hoping for the coming of our Messiah. Just like the Israelites, we are awaiting a Messiah. That is the return of Jesus Christ. And if we are not waiting and hoping and praying for his return, we might well be asleep like the five foolish virgins in that parable that Jesus told. So let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, send forth your Holy Spirit upon us and strengthen our hope in the return of your Son. We ask his grace upon us to keep us strong and walking our faith and witnessing to his love. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. So when it comes to prayer, I want to encourage us through this season of Advent to make prayer more concrete. We do that like we would anything else. If we're going to have a meal with a friend, we put it in our planner, in our smartphone calendar, and we keep the appointment because that friend is special to us. Why would we not do the same for our God who gave his life for us to make time for prayer? By the way, um, as you know, coming to Mass is difficult because of the COVID virus. But you know, on Tuesdays, we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament when we have our Lord present to us in the Holy Sacrament of the Eucharist. And you know what? The church is less crowded on a Tuesday during that time of adoration than on the grocery store at nine o'clock in the morning. So consider joining us for prayer and visiting our Lord during this time of Advent. Also, um, we have other things coming up through this month of December, which are posted on our flock note. Flock note is like a big blanket electronic message we send out to everybody who signed up. To sign up, go to our website and find out how you can also receive flock notes with information that's kind of pertinent and timely. Thank you. So one of the things coming up is the annual Christmas Eve dinner. This year we are not hosting the dinner at our parish youth center. In other words, we're not serving the meal on site because of the virus. But you can still receive a Christmas meal if you need to be able to receive one uh, by phoning in to reserve a meal for you, family, and then coming to pick up the meal on the afternoon of December 24th. Picking up the meals will be done on the west side of St. Michael's Church on the 6th Avenue. And, um, or if you're not able to pick up the meal, we're looking for volunteers to help deliver those meals in the afternoon of December 24th, as well as volunteers to help cook and uh, get the meals ready into the cartons and things like that. All of that is in our flock note and in our bulletin this coming week and next week as well. So please check it out. Thank you. Um, and when was the last time you had your car washed? There's a new one in town, I hear. Well, think about that in relationship to your soul. Um, when was the last time we measured our soul against the Ten Commandments of our Lord? And that's just for beginning. In other words, how well are we walking the path that God calls us to of unselfish love? And when we fail in that, as we all do throughout our lives and many times, do we come back to Christ to ask for his mercy and his forgiveness? If we're truly sorry for our sins and want to continue to try to do better, then he gave us a wonderful sacrament to heal and to forgive those, those sins and the guilt. It's called confession. Check out again our confession times and penance services that are coming up. Holy Family is hosting their parish, parish penance service this Sunday at their parish and, and many others that are coming up. So consider going to confession to prepare for Christmas this year. Um, also, something new that we're beginning is making prayer shawls. Uh, one of the parish members uh, come up with this wonderful idea, and we'll be talking more about it in the future. But one of those special ministries we can do, even in our homes during this COVID shutdown uh, that we're experiencing at times, as well as our prayer partner ministry that we can do in our homes. So we'll be talking more about that in the future. And I'm also looking for some assistance to help with Mass at Valley Senior Living on Columbia. It was formerly known as Valley Elder Care by the Altru Hospital. St. Michael's is now responsible for hosting the Mass for those residents. They're not able to join us at the Mass, of course, because of the COVID virus, but the Mass is live streamed to their rooms. Well, it's nice if we have two or three parishioners joining us at that Mass, and they will be given permission to come in just to do the Mass with us and then help to set up and things like that. So if you're interested in helping us, it's Tuesday mornings at 9.30. We do need a few volunteers. Check it out again in the bulletin this week. I speak about it. Also this week, or not this week, but coming up in a few weeks, we'll have our traditional lessons and carols. That's when we sing some Christmas carols and listen to some scripture passages about the coming of the Messiah. So hope you can join us for that as well. 
Finally, this uh, next week on Tuesday, we celebrate the Feast of Mary's Immaculate Conception. It's not about Jesus. It's about Mary, his mother. How Mary was conceived in the womb of Anna, her mother, but she was conceived without the stain of Adam's sin, without original sin. Why? Well, we'll learn about that at Mass if you can join us. Not if, but when, because it is a holy day of obligation to honor Mary, God's mother. Jesus honors her. He loves his mother dearly. And he invites us to honor her as well because she prays for us constantly in heaven. So please join us. Um, again, check out the flock note and other events coming up. God bless you and may you continue to have a wonderful season of Advent preparing for the birth of Christ. We'll close with a prayer to our brother, Mother Mary as we anticipate celebrating her feast day coming up on Tuesday. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take care, everyone. God bless. Have a good Advent.